Hello everyone, today what I thought we'd do is uh, take a look at DCS World in VR. I'm um, currently sitting here in this beautiful SA-42 Gazelle helicopter. It's a very, very nice French slash English slash kind of multi-country sort of uh, helicopter. And at the moment it's making me extremely claustrophobic because um, this display is about that close to my face. Uh, looking in the back seat, you can see um, there's not a lot of room. I got a little medical kit. Of course, uh, we have the guy over here in the commander seat. It's a kind of nice little spot. Might as well get all those cameras and things warmed up for me for I can play with them a little bit later on. Go ahead and shut these uh, two suckers off. Not that we're carrying anything dangerous, but it's just kind of fun to do. So the Gazelle helicopter, for those of you who have not operated this one at DCS, this is one of the most sensitive things I think I've ever flown in the world both in the real world as well as in the simulator. I have a little bit of helicopter time, like in Robinsons and things like that in the real world, and I can tell you they're sensitive, but I don't remember it ever being as sensitive as this. So, pardon my uh, incredibly, oh boy, look at this. <laughs> it's like right there in my face. Uh, pardon my incredibly touchy-touchy, uh, but um, it should be fun. So anyway, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly down to the coast, uh, do some hot dogging in the woods, and then we're gonna kind of sneak our way back. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this sucker started. One thing to this helicopter's credit, by the way, is the fact that the trim works really, really well. So I'm going to start by pushing the right foot pretty far forward. I'm going to go ahead and bring the collective up just a little bit. Once we get to about 50 or 60, we should start lightening up on the skids. And I always like to see what direction it wants to kind of wander. Like right now, it's obviously wants to wander that way. Go ahead and break stab traction with the ground. There we are. And we are up. Now, one of the interesting things about this helicopter is ground effect has such a strong impact on it because it doesn't essentially weigh anything that when we're going to be flying around trees and houses in a minute, you're going to notice that this thing has got a really bad tendency to kind of bounce. But you'll kind of see what I mean when we do it. You know, let's go ahead and tilt forward, get ourselves some nice transitional lift. Now, this one's funky because as you accelerate, that tail rotor becomes extremely effective, as you can just see in my little example here. And we're already doing 150 kilometers per hour. And let's go. Wow, that's fast. Wow. <laughs> Reminds me of a game back in the 90s called Comanche. Some of you guys might have played it. It's kind of a fun little game. It's, um, you know, have this, like, super almost, like, black shark kind of a helicopter. And it's extremely deadly and it's extremely stealthy and everything like that. It's just a really, really cool product. Anyway, we are now on our way. We wanted to, of course, we could flip over to this guy's. Let me trim it out just a little bit. We chip over to this guy's seat. We turn on the camera. Ooh, anything good? It's always fun to do. Push this button and then you go, huh, nothing happens. It's because of that version of the helicopter. Go ahead and flip the camera back off. Don't need it right now. I'm going to go back in my seat. Ah, much more. Alrighty then. I think I gave ourselves some waypoints. We might as well go ahead and follow those. Looks like our first waypoint is over here on our right. Whoa! <laughs> do not have motion sickness if you intend to fly something like this. Wow. My controller, I have a T16000. It is just like not sensitive enough for this kind of a helicopter. That being said, I can certainly make do with what I have here. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> now this is hot dogging. Hit a little low. Go ahead and give it a teeny tiny tug. And just like that, we're right over those bushes. So you can imagine for me in a VR, this is a quite an intense experience. Ah, here's a village. Let's go ahead and slow down. Nothing like a quick stop. Don't forget to get that collective in. Don't forget to get the right, right foot in. And we have basically stopped the helicopter. Okay. So now we're going to do the hot dogging part. Man, this thing is touchy. Huh. Go ahead and give myself a little bit of trim here to make my life a little bit easier. Wow. <laughs> it's so sensitive. Anyway, enough about the sensitivity. Let's uh, have some fun here. So if you guys remember in Peter Pan, uh, we had Tinkerbell kind of stuck in through one of these little windows right here. I don't... Whoop. There's our ground effect. You could see as soon as I got over that house, it just whoop popped up. I don't have as much of a problem with that with the Huey, but uh, this is definitely going to be a distinctive issue. So uh, let's go ahead and park outside this guy's window. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Tinkerbell? No, just kidding. Now check this out. I'm not even going to touch the collective. Watch this, watch this. Fly over the roof. Whoa! See that? That's the ground effect to the helicopter kind of kicking things in. It definitely makes things a little bit more involved uh, when you're trying to do that. Whoop, flying sideways here. Go ahead and slow down again. And watch out for those trees, because apparently trees equal ground. Ah, very nice. Of course, if we had ourselves a couple missiles, we could uh, dent up some of these people's houses, but I'm pretty sure um, we're not supposed to be having a gazelle helicopter back in 1944 here. But, uh, you know, you kind of deal with what you have. Go ahead and settle down real quickly. We're about to introduce that pesky ground effect again. 
There we go. Just a couple inches off the ground. Push the collective forward. And we're kind of parked. Hmm. I'm gonna go float over towards that tractor there. My right foot is like almost all the way to my wall right now. Oh boy, this looks a little narrow for me. Careful. Careful. Easy. Oh boy, I'm shaking. I'm worried about that tree now. Nice tractor. You know what? I bet we could probably pick that tractor up and the guy who was here would be like, where did my tractor go? What, you didn't hear the helicopter a couple minutes ago? I mean, come on. Let's go ahead and uh, sneak our way back up these bushes. Now, the cool thing with these bushes, I know they're going to give me that funky ground effect, so whoopsie-daisy. Whoa, getting a little close to that tree on my right and the tree behind me. whoop kido. <laughs> this is actually really fun. Hello, branches! See, if I was a real hoser, I'd actually bump the helicopter into the branches just a little bit. Let's take a look out my right window there. Is this guy growing wine? I'm actually not 100% sure what that bush is supposed to be. I'm certainly glad there's uh, no gunfire here because, man, I get shut down quick. This one's fun to do in Dubai also, but um, I don't recommend doing it necessarily with this helicopter. The other helicopters are just a little bit more stable for this kind of a thing. Go take a look at this guy's hedges. No, looks like he doesn't have any grapes yet. Again, I don't know my plants anyway, so there's probably something completely unrelated. Let's see what else we can find in this guy's neighborhood. Uh, nice and easy on the collective. Oh, I found a car. Man, it just sort of just goes. Watch out for that blue house right below me. Is that an outhouse? Or I think it's more of a shed than an outhouse. I'm actually not sure here. I'm going to swing alongside of it real quickly. Uh, I could probably count the tiles pretty efficiently. Yeah, let's go ahead and sneak forward a little bit. Here comes the ground effect. Whee! Alright, let's see what kind of car this guy drives. Ha! Huh. Oh, this is his garage. This must have been an old carriage house or something like that. I don't want to go down because I know I'm going to bump that roof. Very nice. Very, very, very... Whoa, easy, easy, easy. Ah, oh, finally, open space. Yeah, these people must be furious at me right now. Again, this, this thing is just like... I cannot believe how sensitive it is, but I've already complained about that. You've probably seen that in the forum. Oh, one thing I did notice on the forum is a lot of people kind of complaining about this helicopter. Honestly, people, this is the most fun you're going to have in a helicopter if you uh, know how to fly a helicopter. <laughs> Take that as it is. This is interesting. There are two candy stores right next to each other. This must be like Candy Street or something like that. Go ahead and kind of wander towards the coast real quick. I want to see if we can find any sailboats or anything like that. Let's kind of swing down this way. There we go. I don't want to go too fast. Man, I must be making these people nervous because it's making... Oh, boy, that, that looks a little narrow. Uh, this won't be the first time I've crashed doing this, by the way. All right. Let's go ahead and come up a little bit higher. I wonder if this counts as nape of earth. I'm going to go ahead and lose a little bit of altitude here. Pull up just a teeny tiny bit. Very nice. Kind of pause for a second, just again to take things in. I'm a little low. I don't know if I can actually get through this opening, but I'm going to try. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Bitch, I'm making you nervous. There we go. Let's go ahead and accelerate just a teeny time. But we're actually going down a hill here, so um, got to kind of ignore the illusion of altitude. Swing myself to right just a teeny tiny bit. No, I can use a little bit more right foot here. Okay. Where are we, Cherbourg? I could probably land on this roof without too much of a problem. Go ahead and swing this thing to the left. And look at this, it just sort of flies sideways. It's awesome. Alright, somebody decided to unload some um, boulders. There's boulders. There's big piles of dirt. Let's go get ourselves down to the water here. Radio out. Whoa, boy. As soon as we go over the top, it's going to go whoa and sink. Did you see that? I think I just saw a ghost bird. Don't mind me, I'm just a, just a boat. Just a boat. Just a boat. Norm, whoa, you can actually see this, how shallow it is here. Ooh, I don't know that I'd want to be uh, bringing anything too heavy or too big for this way. All right, let's go ahead and uh, sneak our way here. This would be kind of a unique hiding spot for a helicopter, I'm not going to lie. How are we doing on combustibles? Oh, plenty. Got 400 liters still. All right, kind of going out to see here. England's that way. We could probably make it, but I don't really feel like it today. Let's go ahead and swing this way, nice and gently. Oh, I don't like the sights of birds at these kind of altitudes. All right, there's our main street again.
Uh, stopped? Yeah, I need to work on that a little bit. My quick stop is a little sloppy. Alright, let's head to base. So I'm going to quick flip on auto hover mode. It works pretty well. But it's just as easy for me to come flipping over here. Let's see where we need the booth. Wah. All right, let's take a look. It is off to our right left. Let's get going. Don't mind my funky sideways flying here. This is a little more disorienting than you probably realize it is. Whee! And like that, I'm doing uh, almost 200 kilometers an hour. One thing's for sure, um, this is definitely one of the fastest helicopters I think I've ever operated. The Kamau 50, of course, is a really, really good helicopter for this kind of stuff, too. But this thing is just like whoosh, and it's gone. And I'm only using like 80% of my torque right now. Uh, is it supposed to be boot 4? Is it supposed to be boot 3? I always forget. Uh, it looks like it's actually over there on my left. I thought, oh, there is the airfield! Alright, let's go ahead and find a nice and safe spot to put the sucker down and uh, finish the video. So like I was saying, uh, this is just kind of a little experiment in VR with OBS Studio. Um, I haven't used OBS in a while, especially for VR, and I just kind of wanted to test it before I continued my little command series here. And I also wanted to give this thing some more time in VR, because honestly, this is so much fun. Um, flying the sucker over the Persian Gulf is uh, not quite as exciting, unless you're flying around like, you know, the UAE or something like that. But at the same token is, you know, there's some really, really nice things to see over there. Flying this sucker over Nevada, uh, there's not much to see in Nevada, but uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Alright, gonna go ahead and swing this sucker over here, looks like a pretty soft spot. Wish I knew where the wind was coming out of today so I could actually do this properly. I'm just flying my helicopter sideways here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. There we go. Oh, there's got a little bump there. Who put that there? Man, the grass grows quick here. I wonder if this is where they store bombers or something like that. Certainly would, uh, you'd expect that. Alright, get myself just a little bit closer to my little landing pad here. Yeah, this is fun. There we go, pull back just a teeny tiny bit. No, I'm not gonna land straight or anything like that, I'm just gonna get on the platform. Oop the nose, and... Nice. Whoop! Sorry wheels, sorry skids. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed.